What's up guys? We're on another hunting kick, another hunting load. This one's specifically about pheasant hunting. I've never pheasant hunted before in my life, but this year I'm going to. Going to be running my uh, Benelli Super Black Eagle 3. I got it in the Gore Optifade. It's a gorgeous shotgun. It works impeccably. It's so well made. Well worth every single penny. I do have a video on the gun itself. Check it out. Um, it's a few videos back from this one probably, but it is. You can search it on my channel. Find it. Excellent shotgun. Um, and, you know, I'm familiar with, with Winchester and Remington and different loads like that. Federal has some good loads, which obviously this is what that is. And, you know, heavy shot for sure. But I've I've never, you know, having hunted pheasant, I've never really looked at pheasant loads. You know, I'm sure I've seen them and come across them and, you know, whatever, maybe even bought a box by accident. But these ones, the Prairie Storm, uh, FS Steel, it's a 3-inch load. Here's all the specs on it. 12 gauge, 3 inch, 1600 foot per second, 1 and an eighth ounce load, number 3 shot. So this load is specifically designed for pheasant hunting. They're definitely a bigger bird, you know, around the size of some ducks. And so you need a little bit of a bigger shot to smack them out of the air, make an effective clean kill, and uh, get your bird, right? So that's what that is. It's definitely bigger, you know, than your standard dove load or a squirrel load or anything like that other smaller birds and uh pheasants forever sponsor it looks like it's uh you know there's some pheasant forever uh information excellent organization just like whitetails unlimited ducks unlimited stuff like that uh they do a lot for hunters and hunting and conservation and the youth and everything like that and it's it's really nice i've been to um a whitetails unlimited banquet and i assume most of them are the same and uh, it's, a, it's a really nice thing to do, and it, and it does really good. Here's a, a look, little look-see. It says, target shot at 40 yards with a 12-gauge, 3-inch, 1-and-an-eighth ounce load, number 3, modified choke. Uniform pattern dispersion. You know, it could definitely vary and will vary depending on what gun you're using, you know, what choke you're using, the length of the barrel, and uh, obviously your ability to make the shot. But... You know, they're advertising it as a solid spread, a, a decently dense spread to where you're going to make your shot. So that's nice. And then on the back, we've got Prairie Storm FS Steel, designed with the same pellet count and downrange velocity as popular lead loads, which is nice. That's always the thing that you got to worry about because you can't hunt, at least where I'm at, with lead because it's toxic to the environment, the animals, all that stuff. Plus yourself, if you get a bunch of lead in the game that you're eating and then you eat it, then maybe you get lead poisoning. So, you know, it is what it is. So steel is definitely environmentally safe and uh, for the animals and, and nature, the wilderness in general. But it doesn't have the same density, nowhere near the same density as lead. It's not as heavy and it doesn't fly the same it, it doesn't carry its inertia further down range as, as lead does or like the, the tungsten loads from Heavy Shot. And so Federal, with their Prairie Storm here, has come up with the Flight Stopper Steel. Now, I'm a little confused on this. I haven't really looked too much into it. I probably should. But uh, it says it's got 50% and 50%. So half and half standard regular steel and then 50% Flight Stopper Steel. So it's obvious, obviously shaped differently. You see it's more oblong and it's got like a, a ring around it, almost like Saturn. And uh, I don't know exactly what that's supposed to do. Why well, it gets shot on target faster with better retained en energy. So that's that's what it's supposed to do, I guess. But I don't know how it achieves that. Obviously because of the shape. I don't know what the different color has to do with any of it. I don't know if it's denser. I don't know if it's made with, with other alloys or other metals that make it denser. I, I'm not so sure. So if you guys know, you know, your experienced hunters, you've used this load before, leave it down in the comment section below for sure. Cause I want to learn. I'm new to pheasant hunting. And, uh, this load was, I think it was like 20, maybe 30 bucks for this box of 25 at Bass Pro. I could definitely probably find the same stuff online or at a dedicated gun shop a little bit cheaper. But the Bass Pro is really close to my house and they usually do have a very good inventory of hunting supplies and ammo and, and stuff like that. So I stopped by, I grabbed a couple boxes of different stuff and uh, I've never used this before. But I am going pheasant hunting here soon hopefully and will continue to do so throughout my life. And hopefully this entire coming up month... Uh, of November and then you know as long as the season goes till January I believe it is 
maybe December. I don't know. Um, but hopefully this works out. I did watch a couple videos on it. It does have some decent reviews. And uh, I'm just not sure because I've never shot it. I do want to get out and pattern this. Uh, most of the loads that I've put through my Benelli so far that you get a decent consistent 60-40 spread about. And uh, so you kind of take a 6 o'clock hold and you smack them with the majority of it. But every load shoots different. Every barrel length, every gun, you know, they're all their own characters. So if you guys have any information about this or any experience with this, let me know what you think, good or bad, otherwise. And uh, just wanted to bring that to you guys. I thought it was interesting. It's different. I don't know how long this load has been out. Um, it looks like a, a more modern style, newer style box as far as the design and stuff. Uh, it doesn't look like this, but this design's been around from, uh, from the seventies and obviously with the new technology, um, that looks really, really cool. And, uh, hopefully it works really well because I want to get me a bunch of birds and, uh, tag out and, uh, get me some meat. So that's the video guys. Thank you for watching. Check the links in the description box below. Continue to stay subscribed, like, share, comment, subscribe, interact in the channel. I really appreciate that. It helps me know what you guys want to see, what you don't want to see. And uh, I just like talking to you guys back and forth, swapping ideas, swapping stories, whatever it may be. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in and stay tuned for the next one. We'll catch you later.